observing clues and noticing clues. Absolutely, it is. It's, it's the same thing with the body. It's like a detective game. It's like a, a murder mystery. So anyway, continue on with what you're doing. Sounds like you're on the right track. In addition, if you're not using a good probiotic supplement, get on it right away, today. Don't waste okay. the moment. The intestine I've been eating and the, fermented, more fermented foods, um, but I will get on a supplement. I've been using a natural bristle brush and oregano oil to see if I could sort of help to clear it up. It hasn't spread, but it just it's my not skin topical. tone is more medium. I'm sorry? It's, it's not a topical condition. You're seeing it topically. Okay. You're seeing it on top of the skin or on top of the body, but it's happening inside. So you're not going to be able to address it topically. Uh, you can uh, use a steroid cream maybe and reduce some of the inflammation, but that's not going to take care of the problem. But you're on the right track here. Get on a good probiotic supplement. You know I love the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Personally, I'd be using three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. Continue on the fermented foods. And keep, keep, notice if you react to certain fermented foods. Don't necessarily think that all fermented foods are going to be beneficial for you. Sometimes people can react to fermented foods too. So continue paying attention that way. Make sure you're using your ultimate enzymes with all your meals. And then make sure you're using some kind of acid with all your meals. I like apple cider vinegar. Uh, and also stimulating bile salts can also help you, and using bile salts can also help you. So you can stimulate bile salts by using stomach bitters, they call them, or Swedish bitters at the beginning of all your meals. Uh, you can get Swedish bitters in a drugstore or health food store, or you can use arugula or parsley or radishes or different kinds of bitter foods to start your meals, start off your meals. Um, uh, the coating the digestive tract can also help you uh, using the Fucoid Z and Fucoidin and seaweed and aloe and noni. All of these have wonderful coating effects on the digestive tract, and that can help you, especially if you're having a bacterial issue. And then, uh, Let's see, last but not least, cartilage-containing products can also be helpful. Glucosamine, which is a cartilage, a component of cartilage, but also bone soup, chicken soup made with the bones. I'm sure you've heard me talk about that before. Uh, cartilage-containing products can also have a beneficial uh, effect on the digestive tract. Last but not least, zinc, a uh, couple of uh, supplements that are important for skin and the digestive tract. Zinc is a go-to mineral for all, all, all skin conditions, whether it's acne or rosacea or eczema or psoriasis. And zinc is processed through the intestine, absorbed through the intestine. So if you have an intestinal problem, you may be running deficient in zinc, especially if you're not supplementing. Get on 50, that's 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Selenium likewise is very relevant to skin health issues and also absorbed through the intestine. Uh, if you have intestinal problems, you may not be absorbing your selenium, so take your zinc and your selenium with your enzymes and with fatty foods, do them all together to maximize absorption. Likewise with vitamin A, also a fatty vitamin that's very important for skin health and obviously absorbed through the fat, uh, fatty system in the body. So with your enzymes, with your uh, bile salts, with your lecithin, with your probiotics, make sure you're doing zinc, vitamin A, and also uh, selenium supplements, 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate, 400 to 600 micrograms a day of selenium, and then 20,000 IU of vitamin A. And it sounds like you're doing a heck of a job there, Nicole. I'd love it if you could shoot me an email or, or call us and let us know what you found out and if you took care of the, the rosea problem uh, on your own. That would be great information if you want to share that. Will do. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Have a beautiful day. I love when people take care of their own health. That's what this program is all about, you guys. By the way, our number is 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. This program is an empowerment program. It's about making you powerful. It's about taking the power away from the medical model, which always wants to usurp power from us, and putting it back in our laps where it belongs. And no matter what our health challenge is, no matter what your, how degraded the body is, it's in its nature to reverse. The body never stops growing. It never stops repairing. What happens as we break down is the breakdown process supersedes the build-up process, and good health is nothing more than reversing that. Good health is nothing more than reversing the, the equation. Instead of going from net breakdown, we want to go to net build up. We want to be bodybuilders. And that means eliminating anything that's getting into the system that's disrupting the body's ability to heal. Usually that means a digestive, usually that means foods and, and digestion, even something as simple as fasting. I'm going to be doing a talk, a, a video later today on, on uh, tinnitus. And guess what? It turns out fasting is one of the best strategies you could do for tinnitus. Why? Because tinnitus, like macular degeneration, like skin conditions, like chronic degenerative diseases, involves inflammation, immunity, and that always means something percolating in the digestive system. 
So if you're dealing with any, any, any chronic degenerative health crisis, please understand it's in the body's nature to heal, but we've got to eliminate the toxicity that's getting in through the digestive tract, build up the digestive tract so that nutrients can be absorbed correctly, make sure you're stabilizing your blood sugar, and then making sure you're activating the body's relaxation, calming nervous system by using deep breathing techniques and relax mental and emotional relaxation strategies, and of course, movement, moving the circulatory system, moving the blood, moving the lymphatic system is always going to be, play a key role in the reversal of degenerative disease. You notice, I didn't say anything about medicine. I didn't say anything about doctors. I didn't say anything about surgery or radiation or any of the other nasty tools of the modern medical model. These are all things we can do ourselves. By the way, one of the most best all time, greatest relaxation supplements, if you're interested in activating the relaxation nervous system, is pregnenolone and also progesterone, and also for that matter, DHEA. And we'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking hormone health on the bright side. All right, got about a minute to talk to Grace in Florida. If she's available, you there, Grace? Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning to you. Got about a minute. What's going on? I was calling um, regarding, I don't know if you've ever touched on the topics of amalgam fillings, what we should do if we have them. Uh, remove them carefully. Carefully. Sometimes people have mercury removed and they'll get a big hit of mercury in the blood. So if you're going to, uh, you want to address mercury fillings, have, them, have your fillings removed carefully and don't have a bunch of removed all at the same time, and it's probably a good idea to use chelation strategies while you're having your mercury removed. That is supplements that can magnetically attract or pull the mercury out of the system. Vitamin C is one of the all-time great anti-mercury supplements. I'd be doing super high doses of vitamin C as the mercury fillings are being removed. NAC, NAC, is a super important chelating agent for mercury. So is selenium. Algae can be very helpful for chelating mercury. Um, uh, zeolite clay and bentonite clay can also be helpful for chelating mercury. If you want to go all out, by the way, chelation therapy is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome for anti-aging. Pretty, pretty much everybody over the age of 60 would be smart to have regular chelation therapy done, intravenous chelation therapy, using something called EDTA. If you don't want to go that route, you can use the oral chelation supplements. And Grace, it's a, probably a really good idea for you if you're going to have your, um, your mercury fillings removed to use supplemental chelating agents as you're removing the mercury. And uh, all the ones we just talked about, NAC, algae, vitamin C, uh, selenium. There's a, there's a whole ton of them. Zeolite clay. There's a whole bunch of them. Hope that helps, Grace. Thank you so much for your call. Have a beautiful day. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thank you so much for listening. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about steroid hormones and the fatty system of the body. We'll talk about uh, pregnenolone and some of these anti-stress hormones. And we'll continue talking about essential fatty acids and their proportion and their ratio. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products, please head over to brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my Truth Treatment products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, head over to truthtreatments.com. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Have yourselves a spectacular, wonderful, awesome day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.